This is a quick demonstration of my automatic gear gearbox controller. As you can see, it's selected first gear at 2 miles an hour and a throttle position of 40%. On the right hand side of the display you can see there's a plus sign, which means it's in high range currently, and the O next to it means that the torque converter is unlocked. And if I push this button, it locks the torque converter. So you can lock the torque converter at any speed and any gear, so you've got some possibility of stalling the engine. Um, and if I gradually increase the speed, you'll be able to see it shifting up gears. Second. And so on. And then if it goes up a little bit more, the torque converter will lock. There. And I can turn it down a bit. Now, it's reading the uh, position of the gear lever on this little 3D printed one here, which is obviously a little bit small for in the car. So if I shift it down into second, it obviously selects second, down into first. It doesn't select first because I'm going too fast. So if I turn down the speed, I think when it gets below about 20 miles an hour, well, 30 miles an hour, it'll shift into first. So put it back up into drive. That's it in properly. Now another feature it's got is sequential shift. So if I hold down one of the sequential shift buttons, I can now use these keys to select between the gears sequentially and I can use the uh, torque converter at the same time. Torque converter lock up. That's about it.